Welcome back. You know, anytime South Florida comes under a hurricane watch or a warning, you can almost feel the collective stress level rise. Though we now know prolonged anxiety can have detrimental effects on our health, but now a new study is underway to specifically look at how it might affect pregnant women and their babies. Local 10 medical specialist Christy Kruger has more in today's HealthCast. When Hurricane Harvey hit Houston, Texas last year, Chandra Frederick was nine months pregnant and consumed by fear of what she and her three young children might face. Having to walk through the water or if we would have had to evacuate up onto the roof. Dr. Joanna Bick is heading up a study to possibly shed light on how prolonged stress might affect both an expectant mother and her unborn baby. There's very little known about how much stress is okay and how much stress is not okay. And so this is the type of study that can help us answer that question. Dr. Bick is electronically keeping tabs on 1,100 women who were pregnant during Hurricane Harvey or who conceived up to six months after the storm. Perhaps stress in the first months before you conceive uh, can have some kind of effect on uh, the gestation of your baby. That's a question we're trying to ask. Researchers are monitoring women like Chandra who were terrified during the storm and those who were not. Women who suffered property damage and others who had none. The study will eventually assess the children of those women to see if there are correlations between the women's stress levels and how their children develop. I know that other mothers would probably like to find out about um, if, if the hurricane would have effects on pregnant mothers. Well, researchers in Houston are working with others around the country to compare stress in pregnancy during other natural disasters like snowstorms and wildfires. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News.